y'all something. The devil did not want y'all to get no video from me today, okay? Did not want y'all to get it, honey. He is busy. Let me tell you something. I filmed this whole makeup look. Cute little tutorial, chit-chatting, talking to y'all, letting y'all know where I've been because, you know, if y'all are familiar with me, if y'all some OGs, if y'all my regular supporters, fam, bam, y'all know I've been gone for almost a year, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, KK, what have you been doing, child? KK just been living, just been living, living, chilling, enjoying life, right? You know, so... But the devil didn't want y'all to get no video, honey, because I filmed this whole tutorial, talking, chit-chatting, having a good time, talking about products, and there was no sound. None. Absolutely no sound, okay? I could have just been looking at the camera doing this. Like a mime, honey, because it wasn't no sound. <laughs> so anyways, but you know what? I said, ah, oh, the devil's alive. We're going to film something today, honey. So we're going to do us a cute little uh, shop my stash because I do want to switch my products out. So let's do a cute little shop my stash. Yes, I'm sorry. I know I've been going for a minute. A minute. <laughs> a cute little minute. But your girl is trying to. I'm going to try to come. I'm going to try to get it together, y'all. I'm going to try to get it together. But y'all need to let me know. You know, do y'all still want beauty videos? Are y'all still into the beauty videos, the tutorials, the shop my stash, the new products, all that stuff? Because, honey, I am so out of the loop. I don't know if some of these companies are still in business. You know, the smaller brands, if they out of business, if, you know, I don't know what's new that's coming out. So I'm going to have to get back into the groove. But I missed you guys and I did want to pop in and say hi. And honey, no, the devil is alive because we're going to film something today, okay? So let's do a cute little shot of my stash. I'm going to start out with the products that I've been using. Just kind of let you guys know what they are if I have any thoughts. And, you know, keep it pushing. So anyways, the look that I do have on today, it was really kind of brought about because I wanted to try this Laura, Laura Mercier foundation. I saw Monica Style Muse using this and it looked so amazing on her that I was like, uh, yeah, I'm going to try it. So this is my first time trying it out today. And quite honestly, I feel like I picked a really good shade for me. This one is, what is it? The 5W, 5W1 Sienna shade. Hopefully I'm reading that right. <laughs> If y'all regulars, y'all know how I do. But that's the shade that I got. And so far, I really like it. It really has like a nice natural finish. It's very lightweight. So I'm feeling it. So this is definitely something that's going to stay in my stash to use a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this over here to the side because I'm keeping that in my stash. So um, also, I've been using this Milani Rose Primer. This is a prep and hydrate lightweight base. So I really, really like this because it is very, very lightweight. It does have a slight hint of a rose scent. So if you don't like any scent, you know, you might not like it, but it's so slight that it just kind of dissipates, you know, after you put it on. But just enough to let you know, yes, this is a rose scented um, primer. Now, when I put it on, it does have like a little, a very, very slight, um, kind of pinky tone to it and it I actually it actually seems to me like it gives me a little bit of a glow on my face underneath my foundation but very very slight you know very slight blends into the skin very nicely so if you do just like kind of a nice light moisturizing primer you might like this I'm actually going to keep this in my shop my stash for a little while longer as well because I'm really really feeling it now, the other two foundations that I've had in regular rotation for months now is my Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Foundation, and it's definitely one that I really, really love, will continue to love. And then the Makeup by Mario Foundation. I'm not sure what shade I have in this. Let me see. I need to put my glasses on because y'all know I'm going to be sitting here squinting the whole time, showing y'all stuff upside down. But look. <laughs> These two foundations have been in heavy, heavy rotation, and so I'm going to go ahead and switch those out now that I'm trying the Laura Mercier, along with a few other foundations. Now for my 
Concealers, I'm still using my Old Faithfuls, honey. I have not changed them and I have so many concealers that I need to grow, go through that I really, really kind of hesitate on buying new ones. Now, to cover my dark circles, I'm using the Catrice True Skin Concealer. 18 hour, stuff works really, really well. And then of course, you guys know I love my Juvia's Place in the shade 11. I'm really hoping they still have this stuff because when I run out, honey, I need to restock. I hate having to find a new concealer when I find one that I'm in love with because it, it can be tricky. It's really, really tricky sometimes. Okay, so continuing on with the base, you guys know if you are familiar with me, the KVD Powder Foundation, honey, I use this to uh, set my face like religiously <laughs> as you can see. I have lots and lots of backups of this. So I believe actually that um, I was getting it on sale at Sephora for the longest time and then they finally ran out of my shade, which I use Deep 200. So I don't know if it's come back in stock or not, but child, I got plenty of backups of that. And then I've also been using this NARS, uh, what is this, Seafront? I've been using this to set my face as well. And it's actually quite nice. It works quite well. Very beautiful, warm brown shade. And it's just been working beautifully whenever I kind of want to switch up from the KVD. So to set my concealed areas, you know, you guys know I like to use a loose powder for that. And I've really been trying to work through this prime. Uh, what is this? This is the locked in, locked in loose powder called Golden Gal. Now this is another product where I've had it for so long, I don't even know if they're still selling it. You know, Prime Beauty is still in effect. I don't know, but I love this stuff. It's a really, really nice, just kind of warm, um, you know, golden kind of tone. It kind of has even, I think, like a little bit of peachiness to it, a very, very slight amount of peachiness to it, but you can look at it and just tell that it works really well for setting under my eyes. And I love the consistency of it. It's not too heavy, not too light, works out great. Um, let's see, let's move into bronzers and highlighters. Okay, bronzer. I've really been going in with my Melt. This is in the shade Long Beach, which is where I'm from, the LBC, hello. <laughs> but this bronzer, it works gorgeously. So I love, love, love this. Um, for highlighters, I have been using, this is like kind of like an off-brand, I think, called Romantic Beauty. I don't know where I got this from. I think I got it from, got it from one of those little pop-up beauty shops or whatever. But um, it's a chocolate highlighter. Looks like this. Absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know if you would be able to find this maybe at a beauty supply or something. But look at that. Look at that. That looks absolutely gorgeous, you know, when you put it on your cheeks because it's like it has that warmth of the chocolatiness, but it also has just that little slight glow. Okay, beautiful. And then I've also been playing around with this Crush XO Hustle and Glow. This is an illuminating, you know, like liquid glow. So this is beautiful as well for highlighter. Now let's see, blush. Blush has been kind of tricky. I've been kind of like playing with all kind of different blushes and stuff. But the ones I'm going to share with you guys today, the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Volume 1. So this is one of their cute little blush duos. And this is, uh, you know, the powder ones. I know they came out with the liquid ones, I believe, to match. And I did grab some of those, but... I really need to kind of get back into my liquid blush kind of vibe because, you know, with it being spring and summer, I do kind of like that glowy type blush, but you know, the powder blush is just so much easier for me. So these are really easy, quick, and this one I like because it gives you a dark option as well as this really pretty peachy orangey option. So yeah, this one is volume one if you're curious about that. And then I also have this cute little trio that I got from Adept Cosmetics. But the thing is, with my Adept Cosmetics um, blushes and highlighters, I kind of mix them around because you know with their shadows and their pans, they're magnetic. So you can kind of move them around and switch them around in the different palettes and stuff. And so 
I don't think that this is the way that this comes. <laughs> I think that I put these in here, but I don't remember. So I'm sorry, I can't tell you, you know, if they sell this like this or not, because I did throw a highlighter and then I have a couple of blushes in here. They're really pretty, really, really pretty. They're like, um, you know, kind of like a really, oh, that's so gorgeous. <laughs> so gorgeous. But look at that. Ciao. Oh my goodness. You see how pretty these are? Oh. Ciao. Oh. Perfect for summer, perfect for spring. But like I said, I don't know if this is, that's how this comes. This one has the name Stella on it. But I really feel like I took the pans out of the blushes and the highlighters and added them together into one palette and just kind of re-freaked it and created my own thing. So my bad, y'all, but <laughs> buy them all, okay? Buy them all. They're just gorgeous. Okay, so anyway, um, for setting sprays, I've been using this Morphe. This one is a Continuous Prep Set and Mist. Um, but this one is different. I don't remember. Is this the one that's mattifying? I don't know. But this is the one in the gold, you know, the gold can. And this is a cute little travel size. So this is perfect for travel. They do have a bigger one, which I have as well. But I got the small one because I wanted to try it out, see if I like it or not. And I actually do. I really, really like it. I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because they feel good. They smell good. And they work for me. So... I like them. And then I also have my Nomad Air. This is a face mist. So this one, I believe you can use it, you know, before your makeup to prep and all that stuff as well as use it to set. So I also have been using that. So I've been using these too. Okay. Now, quick little side note, okay, with my lashes. Um, I kind of got tired of using strip lashes. So what I had started doing was I actually was using um, or actually going to get lash, ex lash extensions put on, you know, going to the shop, nail shop or whatever, having lashes, lash, ex girl, can you talk? Can you talk? <laughs> lash extensions applied. And I really, really love them because you ain't got to worry about it. You just got them on. They stay, they stuck, they good. Um, but honey, $250. $150 to get them, you know, refreshed and refreaked. I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend that every month. I just don't. It, regardless of whether or not I can or not, I don't want to. So I was looking for a more affordable option for, you know, semi-permanent or a little bit longer lasting lashes. And so I started trying out these lashes, you know, that have been really big lately where, you know, you put the bond on and then you take and you apply it underneath your natural lashes so these lashes that i have on are some of those applied you know underneath my lashes okay and i actually really like them because they're very very comfortable they do not last anywhere near as long as lash extensions obviously depending on you know kind of what you do with your eyes and stuff and how you sleep and if you rub your eyes a lot whatever but these i applied when i apply these uh Saturday. So it's actually been a week that I've had these on and I could tell that they're probably going to end up coming off when I take this eye look off because you know I'm gonna go ham cleaning my eyes but they last a pretty good long time and they're really easy to apply. So these is just some off brand that I got from Amazon I'm sure. Lobbis. Oh, I don't know who that is but yeah, they work really well and I like because they have a lot of different sizes and stuff. So I would say try them out if you're curious because, honey, I can't feel them at all. They feel just like my own lashes on my eyes. But anyway, I want to share that with you guys um, before I jump into the eye looks. So let me just share with you the palettes that I did use. I'm going to put some of this stuff away because, child, I got stuff all over the place and it's just getting in the way. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through the palettes that I have played around with and used, you know, just over the last few months or whatever, um, and share with you eye looks that I did. Uh, off the top of my head, I have not used any palettes that I felt were not good. I've gotten a lot more, um, how can I say? I definitely put a lot more thought into palettes that I buy and, you know, regarding quality, if I'm familiar with the brand, just even looking at the palette, the color stories, things like that. 
um, researching and things. So it's very rare for me to buy a palette where I'm just like, oh, I don't like it. The formula is horrible and things like that because I've been using eyeshadow and buying eyeshadows for so long now that I'm pretty familiar with and comfortable with what I do and don't like to use. So it's very rare for me to come across a palette and just feel like, oh, this is terrible. I don't like it, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Because now I more so buy palettes that I really, really want in my collection more so than to review. So let's start out with the palette that I use for today's eye look. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It was something I did really quick because of the fact that I really was focusing more so on my complexion because I was trying out that foundation by Laura Mercier. But it is the Clarity Cosmetics Aloha palette. So pretty. And this was a gift given to me uh, from my bestie, Lily. And look how colorful this is, you guys. It is so, so gorgeous. Um, I haven't taken any pictures of this look. Not sure if I will. If I do, then I'll insert it over here. But you guys can see it on my eyes right now. I just used all the shades in the first row, except for this purple. I went in with this kind of peachy, orangey shade um, in my crease. So yeah, I just focused on these and that. And really, really like it. This mug is extremely pigmented. I did not put um, eyeshadow primer on my eyelid because like I said, I was just doing something quick and ciao, ciao. Exactly, right? Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first palette. Now this next palette is the Natasha Denona Xenon palette. Okay, this little funky um, palette here. And if you're familiar with it, you know it has like the black tones, grays, it's really, Kind of like that cool smoky vibe or whatever. Really, really love this palette and glad to have it in my collection. I love Natasha Denona's formula. I know, you know, some people love it, some people hate it. I like it because I feel like it's buildable. It's not something where it's like hard to use or you're going to go crazy, you know, with too much color and stuff. So I like it. Like it a lot. This next palette, the Skulls and Roses from Kaima Cosmetics. Oh, when I saw this palette teased on Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. I just really, really fell in love with the color story, the beautiful shimmers and things like that in here. It's just so, so pretty. And I was going to purchase it and they actually sent it to me to try it out. And I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> so tried it out, loved it. I mean, I love the eye look. I was very, very surprised. Very, very surprised at the how the shimmers perform the colors how they looked on my eyes i was shocked honey but it was gorgeous so yeah played with that next one is this adept cosmetics this one is the i believe it's the inspired palette um gorgeous okay absolutely gorgeous if you love blues and greens especially greens child what okay Look at this eye look. Hello. <laughs> Gorgeous. And I love Adept Formula. Very familiar with it. I really like their mattes. Beautifully pigmented, easy to work with. And their shimmers are just out of this world. Out of this world. So yeah, this palette from Adept Cosmetics, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I played around with this Chucky palette from Glam Light. I kind of went back and forth as far as whether or not, look at that whether or not I wanted to get these palettes, but the color stories got me, okay? Even though I'm not into Chucky, I'm not into all the scary stuff, you know, I have um, the other scary palettes that they came out with. The color story got me, okay? Because even though I'm not into Chucky and honey, you can pay me to watch a horror movie. No, ain't gonna do it. No, thank you. You're not bringing that into my life and my spirit life. <laughs> but the color story, child, look. It's so beautiful and grungy. The burgundies, the grays, the blacks. I think I kind of went through like a, a gray tone phase or something, which I'm still kind of in because I love these shades. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Created this look with it and it worked out really nicely. I like Glam Light Shadows. They're not my absolute favorite favorite as far as like, you know, uh, if I wanted to grab a palette to use. But they are really really nice now next i have the pretty grunge from huda beauty i could not for the life of me remember 
what brand this was. I'm looking, tearing my beauty room apart, looking for, I'm like, what is the pretty grunge palette? I know I used it. I kept thinking that it was Natasha Denona, but no, it's Huda Beauty, very cute packaging. And um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, no, it might've been the other palette. But one of these looks I did add a pretty blue eyeliner to. I'm thinking it was the Morphe palette that I'm gonna show you next. But this one is the Pretty Grunge from Huda Beauty. Created a gorgeous little grungy look or whatever. Nothing too aggressive though. But this palette is so gorgeous. Do you see that? I'm trying to get, not to get too much light in there, but so pretty. Love it. And I like Huda's, Huda's formula as well. Not as much as I like Natasha Denona, but I do love uh, Huda's palettes. Now this next palette, this is the Morphe, what is it, Luminarius? Yeah, Luminarius. Let's see if I, the Morphe Luminarius palette. They came out with three different palettes. Um, kind of like a mauve tone, a smoky tone, and a warm tone. This one is more of the smoky tone palette. And all three of them are great for like, you know, professionals that want to have like the basic shades to use and stuff. So this one, I really gravitated to. Once again, that cool tone, smoky, all of that good stuff has a beautiful black in there and some, you know, pretty shimmers. And I believe if I'm not mistaken that this is the one that I used this blue eyeliner with. If so, you'll be looking at the picture right now. But I know I added this um, Beauty Creations Denim eyeliner to one of these smoky looks and absolutely loved it fell in love with it okay now i also played around with my depth cosmetics heather austin palette okay hey heather <laughs> um and this palette is beautiful as well i love the different variety of shadows that are in here you know you could do a blue look uh i mean a green look um, goldy look with the greens you can add the blue to the greens or you can do just like basic you know easy everyday colors with an absolutely gorgeous shimmer on there those shimmers are so pretty but yeah I do like the variety of colors that are in here and of course you guys know me I mixed them all together <laughs> so I put all of these shades together on my lid and I fell in love with it I really really love that look so Hopefully you guys like it as well. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, this is from Simply Posh. Their Cozy Cabin. This, they came out, you know, around the holidays. Such cute packaging. Look at this packaging. It's like a window with the little, you can see the Christmas tree in there. So cute. Um, but the color story on this is gorgeous. It's like, it didn't really scream holiday to me, didn't really scream, you know, like Christmas or anything, but it does kind of give that vibe of cozy cabin because like you have the greens, the blues, you know, you have somewhat of pastel shades in here, but you have beautiful warm shades. So what it really kind of reminds me of is like a really pretty like quilt, you know, like a quilt that you would throw on your bed that has these beautiful colors in it. And it's just kind of like a wintry Christmas vibe or something like that. So not your typical Christmas or holiday palette, but absolutely gorgeous. If you can see that, beautiful. A lot of variety in here as well. If you don't like super bold, deep, dark, colorful shades like I do all the time, sometimes you want to kind of tone it down. This is perfect for that. It really, really is. Now this palette here, the Nomad New Zealand Stargazing Palette, I really just kind of had some fun with this on Instagram. Wanted to just do a quick like three shadow look, just bop, bop, bop. So I didn't really go into a whole lot um, when using this palette, but ciao. These colors, super pigmented, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I actually want to play with this more because I really didn't get a chance to just dive into these gorgeous shimmers and beautiful mattes and stuff as much as I wanted to because I was trying to do a cute little video and I was like let me just put this on but as you can see honey that color popped it popped <laughs> and I love it so yeah y'all know if you're familiar with me or my channel honey I love me some nomad okay to the day I die this is another one of their launches their um Ireland wild Atlantic way palette yeah beautiful 
like velveteen packaging and this gorgeous green. Ooh, just looking at this palette is so pretty. Look how pretty this palette is. Oh my goodness, just the greens and the golds and I love a green eyeshadow, okay? But the mixture in here that they have with these colors, it's like you just have so many different ways you can go. So many different ways you can go. And when I tell you those shimmers, so pretty. Ah, yeah. Definitely loved the eye look I did with that. And of course, you guys already know I love Nomad's formula. And then last but not least, I did do a look with this Morphe 35M Eye Magic Mirror Palette. This is one of their large, you know, what, 35 pan palettes. And once again, beautiful neutrals smoky grays you know you got your warms your cools you know you can do whatever i think this is a great even though it's super large like if you're traveling locally like if i was doing like a staycation or something which i live in vegas so if i was just going to the strip and didn't have to worry about my luggage getting damaged and beat up this will be great because you have you know the cools and the warms you can create a lot of different looks if you're not really going for a lot of color if you like this stuff for every day or maybe you like to grunge it up, this palette is really good. It's, you know, basic Morphe formula, which works for me. I have no problem with it and I love that palette, okay? So anyways, that is all of the items that I have to share that I've been using. Kind of some brief thoughts on them and let's just roll right quickly into the items that I'm going to be using for my new makeup looks um some items i'm keeping from this one and i will show you what i grabbed okay you guys so let's just quickly run through the items that i pulled i did go ahead and pull the items instead of pulling them with you guys because ciao y'all know how long my videos be <laughs> so let's just run through these right quick um so let's start out with the moisturizer that i pulled this is the pretty filter waterfall glow cream from what is it touch and soul okay i love this stuff love 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 it this stuff is so moisturizing it's so hydrating you can just look at it and see it feels so good on the skin and yeah we're going to be using this uh now for primers i did pull two additional primers um, you guys already know I have the Milani Rose Prep and Prime. I also pulled my Sephora. This is Smooth and Blur Primer. So this primer I really like because it does smooth and blur. And then I also pulled this one from Revolution, which is a mattifying primer. So some days, you know, when I kind of want to not look as glowy and shiny, I want to have an option for that. So I did go ahead and choose <laughs> three primers, okay? Y'all know me. Now, let's see. For foundation, I have a few foundations. You guys already know I'm keeping the Laura, Mor Laura Mercier that I already showed you, which I am wearing today, which I absolutely love. But since I've only tried it once, I want to keep it. Um, the other foundations that I did pull, I did pull my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Haven't used this in quite a while, and so... I just want to kind of check it out and see, do I still like it? You know, do I not like it? Is it still a good match for me? I also pulled this Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin. This is a serum skin tint. Um, I believe I used it once and with it being a serum skin tint, it is very, very, you know, mild light coverage. Very, very light. And so I'm not sure how I feel about it or not um with concealing underneath i'm just not sure not sure because i'm really not the super thin like light light coverage type of chick honey I, I need some coverage so i'm gonna try this out for a while and see how it goes and i also picked up the danessa myris beauty yummy skin blurring balm powder so this one is in an 8.5 i don't know y'all haven't used it yet, haven't tried it yet, so I'm really curious. The packaging is so gorgeous. It has a little scooper on there, um, and it's a twist open. Okay, so this is the shade that I got. I don't know, honey. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see. 
but I'm really curious about this as well. Maybe this will work well with the serum skin tint, maybe? I don't know, but we're gonna find out together, okay, y'all? Or y'all can leave some comments down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on it because I'm really curious and excited to try it. Okay, so let's move into powders. For my loose setting powder, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty. This one is the Cinnamon Bun for setting under my eyes. I can actually use this all over my face, but um, I like to use a pressed powder. So I'm going in with the Lip Bar. This one is the Bronze Beauty setting powder. And let me just open this up so you can kind of get an idea. This is what it looks like on me. It works very well, so I'm gonna be using that. For bronzer, I have two things I think for bronzer, yeah. I pulled a stick bronzer from ColourPop and I also pulled a regular powder bronzer from ColourPop. I love this color bronzer from ColourPop. This one is Moonlight Beach. And this is what that bronzer looks like. It works beautifully on your girl. So love that. I already know I love that. And the stick, I don't know. Have I used this before? It looks like I might have used it. Yeah, or either I swatched it. I probably swatched it because it doesn't really look super used. Um, <laughs> uh, and probably still can't read it. Manhattan Beach. <laughs> so yeah, this is Manhattan Beach for that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this to use if I ever feel like using a cream bronzer, which is not very often, honestly. So for highlight, let's jump into highlight. I have my iHeart Revolution Tasty Apple. Okay. I don't even know if they still sell this, but ciao. This is one of my absolute favorite highlighters. Oh, she pretty. Ciao gorge i'm not gonna get to swatching y'all know how i do and then for blush um i did pull i have a lot of blush you guys let me just let you know that ahead of time because i wanted to pull some liquids as well as have regular powder blush so this one here is from car beauty blissful liquid blush i have this one really pretty what shade is this honey because it looks like a kind of like a watermelon color eh. Y'all, I can't see. I don't even know if it has a color on there. If it does, I don't know. Because I don't see anything on the lid or on the bottom. Or else it's so small that I just can't read it. And that is highly possible. But it's really pretty. It's like this watermelon type shade. And then I have this from uh, Makeup by Tammy. This is one of her plush blushes. And this one does have a, a name whatever that says there, <laughs> that's what it is. So this one is gorgeous as well, okay? So I pulled those two, but for blush, I really wanted to kind of use my blush palettes and, and books and things because of the fact that I have them, I forget to use them, and they have some of the most, most gorgeous shades of blush in them. So it's like, girl, you need to use them. This one is the Wrap It Up by P. Louise. Um, one of their, you know, little blush books, blush palettes. Look at those colors. Ciao. This is gorgeous. Now I have this one on today. I didn't put on a lot. So, you know, it's like you can barely see it. It's really, really light. Let me put a little bit more on so you can check it out. But yeah, it's this one here. And it is really, really pretty. It's really pretty and they're not so pigmented that you put it on and it's just like, oh my gosh, you know, but I am kind of curious about how long it stays on throughout the day though, because, you know, I've had it on for a couple of hours or whatever, and it does kind of seem like maybe it has died down a little bit. I don't know. Could just be my imagination, but you know, just putting it on now, you can see. It's really, really pretty and it's not super duper pigmented, okay? So anyways, I pulled this because, honey, springtime, summertime, perfect shades for that. And then I also pulled my Crayon Case Blush Binder. I never used this. And when this came out, oh my goodness, it was like, 
honey, we was dying to get it. Me and my friends was dying to get it because it's like every freaking blush color you could ever imagine in this book. And they're so gorgeous and beautifully vibrant. Look at these colors, okay? I don't even know if they still sell this. I mean, they have shades for every skin tone in here, every depth, all of that. Just absolutely beautiful. And it's three different pages of blushes. Hello. <laughs> so honestly, this is like all you need ever in life when it comes to blush. So I really need to play around with this. So I did grab my blush books in blush palettes. And for setting spray, well, let me just talk about, I pulled this, um, this is Revolution's Big Lash uh, Volume Mascara. I'm gonna try this out. I don't really use a lot of mascara right now, obviously, because I have the false lashes on, and but I do use mascara on my lower lash line, so it does kind of matter. Um, I have been using this L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, and I really like this one only because of the fact that it has the smaller bristles, it does have the hard brush, so it's very easy to, you know, get the mascara on your lower lashes. It works really well for that, and it's not super big and messy like a lot of mascaras are. So this just stays in the rotation for my lower lash line. But last, lastly for complexion, the two setting sprays I'm gonna be using. This one is from One Size. It is On Till Dawn. Okay, waterproof, this stuff, people swear by it. So I'm going to be using this. And then I picked up this setting spray from TJ Maxx. You know, I was in there shopping with my girl, Lily. We was doing our thing while she was out here on vacation. And you know, me and my girl got to do our shopping. And so we went to TJ Maxx and I just grabbed this. It's from Vital Beauty, never heard of them. But it's just a makeup setting spray and it's supposed to be mattifying so we'll see but of course you know the little bottle is very cute very aesthetic it's actually a pretty nice size so anyways gonna be using that now i know i mentioned it earlier but i'm going to continue to use my two holy grail concealers the catrice true skin as well as the juvia's place number 11 so these just stay in my little container you know stay for everyday use okay but let's go ahead and move on into the palettes that I pulled now this palette here from profusion I haven't used profusion palettes in a long time I used to be diehard profusion you know when I was still getting my feet wet trying to figure out what type of eyeshadow formula I really like and of course profusion is extremely inexpensive um, compared to other eyeshadows that I like to use they're not the best not my favorite but I did purchase this palette this one is the euphoria and have never used it but the color story is absolutely gorgeous so I'm really curious as far as whether or not I will like it or hate it at this point but the blues really got me now I did pick up the three new palettes from Morphe you know they came out with these three new palettes that have the really really pretty um shimmer in the middle and so i'm not sure which ones i'm gonna use i don't know if i'll use all three but this one is called going platinum and that's what this one looks like of course the smoky with the black and gray this one is called rose to fame really really pretty rosy toned absolutely gorgeous and then this one is called um gold seeker so of course this one has the gold in the center with the warm toned shadows. So yeah, I'll be trying out one or more of those. Not sure which one. Now I did pull an oldie but goodie. This one is the Urban Decay Born to Run. Now when this first launched, I just had to have it. It was like the whole craze with everybody else had to have it. And then when I got it in my hands, I barely even used it, <laughs> okay? But the color story is gorgeous. It definitely has a lot of, you know, range and variation with it. I don't believe it's my favorite favorite formula, to be honest with you. But for sure, I definitely want to go ahead and try this out and see if, you know, if I like it or if I can declutter it, quite honestly. If you guys hear any noise in the back, my husband just walked in the house. 
and he's on the phone. So hold for one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> See, listen, it's not enough room in this house for two creators, okay? If you guys don't know who my husband is, he is AB from Smoking and Grilling with AB. Um, and yeah, he just came in and was on the phone and I'm like, yo, and I know he's like, girl, you ain't filmed in almost a year. What, what you doing filming? <laughs> anyway, he need to pipe down. Okay. So this is from Sydney Grace. Okay. Fell in love with this color story when it came out, like what, years ago? Never used it. Never used it. Okay. And it is gorge really really pretty okay so this is what this looks like it's the love palette so so pretty and yeah i want to go ahead and use this test it out i've used sydney grace shadows before and i know that i really like them so it's not a question of that it's just a matter of what i'm going to be able to do with that color story because it's not really as deep and dark as i normally like to go I also pulled the Give Me Glow Summer Vibes. I mean, it's summertime, you know, why not, right? And this is a gorgeous, beautifully bright palette that um, just looking at it, I know I would like to do a lot of like monochromatic looks, you know, like maybe just an orange look or just a goldy yellow look or just a simple turquoise look or just keep it neutral. So as opposed to blending everything, I might just do some monochromatic looks or I might put every single color in this palette on my eyes. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> so anyway, that's gorgeous. I also pulled this Element palette from Adept. <laughs> this palette? Yo. Yo. I can't, I can't believe I haven't used it yet, but I really did kind of get out of my super colorful, did I? I kind of say I got out of that, but I kind of didn't. <laughs> but I do do, you know, some more neutral looks than I used to do in the past. But this one here, honey, ain't no neutral here. Ain't no just basic, you know, chill, everyday go to work at the office type look you gonna get out of this. Now, if you, you know, wear these colors to the office, which is my, my, my vibe, my personality, then yeah. But for most people you know, they do the more neutral tones on a regular daily basis. So yeah, this, oh, I can't wait to use it, honey. It's gorgeous. I also got sent this palette from Simply Posh. This is their Aurora Lights and I never got around to using it. Never got around to using it. Definitely wanted to, wanted to do a cute little, um, you know, Instagram or something with it. So I'm definitely going to be using this. Perfect for spring, summer looks. It's beautiful. It really is, it's gorgeous. And I love their other palettes, the formula, the color stories and stuff. So I don't really feel like I'm all that concerned with the formula. Now this one on the other hand, this one is from Inslee Rain Cosmetics and this is the Cold Moon. Now I absolutely fell in love with this color story when I saw it. Just look at that packaging, absolutely beautiful. I don't have any palettes with this color story, but because of the price, and the cost for shipping, I was like, yeah, your girl's not buying that. <laughs> like, I'm, I, as much as I loved and wanted this palette with this color story, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not buying that. It's too expensive. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. My bestie Lily sent this to me, okay, which I'm not surprised. You know, when you have amazing, wonderful friends, they give you things, they love on you, they surprise you with things and they treat you, you know, like you are very special to them, okay? And that is what she did. She bought me this palette and I was like, girl, that, that palette was way too expensive for what you paid for it, okay? But I am so, so thankful you did. <laughs> so, so thankful you did, child, because I can't wait to use this. And it's a trip because like I said, it's very, very cool tone, very mute, very like... But the shimmers, the shimmers got me in a headlock. And the reason why I'm just not sure is because I do have another palette by them. One other palette that I purchased and it wasn't my favorite. So we'll see. Okay, I'm hoping that it'll create beautiful magic on my eyes. And lastly, I pulled this Beauty Bay Rich Rich, Rich Rich palette. Okay, um, and this palette is definitely a rich 
palette with the burgundies, the browns, the earthy tones and stuff. You know, really, really beautiful. You can go in, you know, with a purple look, kind of like a, you know, what is it? Like a terracotta brown, beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And so, yeah, fell in love with this, ordered it. I think I have the smaller one too for travel. But yeah, can't wait to create a gorgeous look with this. And of course, it's going to be deep, dark, grungy, and smoky. <laughs> so yeah, got that. But anyway, that is it, you guys. That's all the palettes that I'm planning on using, the products that I'm planning on using. And I'm really excited to be back. I hate that I had no sound when I did the video for this eye look because y'all, I was chatting it up with y'all. I was chatting it up. I was telling y'all all kind of stuff. But that'll have to wait until my next makeup video, okay? So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and stopping by to check out my video because I've been gone for a minute. But your girl is back <laughs> again. So anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.